2015 first All-Star game, man. Go back there in your mind. Like, what do you remember from that uh, representing the Rockies? Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, Cincinnati, uh, that was great. I went with Tula, was there. And uh, I want to say DJ was there, too. DJ made it. And, uh, you know, I had a great time hanging out in the locker room and seeing those guys. I was pretty shy and a little uncomfortable being surrounded by so many great players. Uh, didn't quite think I belonged there, but it was a special time. And I remember my at-bat, I struck out on three pitches against Wade Davis. So... That wasn't great, but I had an amazing time, and uh, obviously that's, that's, the, that's probably the number one I will never forget. Uh, that one and the 17 one, because that was the first time I ever got to start. So those two are the most memorable for me. When you played with Wade, did you did you think about that moment? Did you? Oh, yeah, we talked shot? about it. We talked about it plenty of times. Yeah, he knows he's got my number. So that's good. What's it like seeing all the young guys now, like the next generation? I mean, still your generation, but, oh, but yeah, the young guys coming up. What's sure. that like? I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean. You know, when I was their age, you know, I wasn't hitting the ball as hard. I wasn't, you know, as explosive as some of these guys. I mean, the, the younger generation is just totally different than I've ever seen. I mean, these guys are hitting, you know, 115 bullets and 115 homers. And it's just amazing to watch them, seriously. And uh, it's an honor to be a part of this. But like I said, they're, they're definitely different. Got to see uh, Jackson Holiday at the Futures game the other day. Uh, do you remember him as a kid being around the ballpark in 2018? Yeah, I do. I do remember that. And then I went to uh, go train with Matt Holiday in the Stillwater one off season, and uh, you know Jackson was there working with us. And, uh, he, man, he's he's going to be a stud, and uh, he's already doing some things that you no know, 18, 19 year old should be doing, getting to Double A like that. But that's how special he is, man. He's a stud, and I hope he has much success. Have you been able to keep uh, an eye on, on Ryan McMahon, what he's been able to do defensively at third base? Obviously the last few years, but even this year as well. Uh, not really. I, I really don't really look at that, but I'm not surprised. I mean, Ryan could play anywhere. I mean, he plays third base at elite level, second base, uh, first base when I was there. And uh, so I'm not surprised. I mean, he, he could do both. He plays well on both sides of the ball. And uh I hope he has much success. Is that a little source of pride of like, hey, I might have left, but you know what? He, he kind of picked things up along the way and, and keeping you know, the defense really strong at the hot corner in Colorado. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I don't know how much I influenced him, but uh, you would have to ask him that. But uh, there's no doubt he's good. I think him being surrounded not just by me, but by DJ, by Story, by guys that took pride in their infield probably helped him out a lot. So I know it wasn't just me. It was all of us.